Today I'll show you how to create such a cool thumbnail in Photoshop. Let's open Photoshop and get started right away. First we take the color black. Take the paint bucket tool, G, and fill it with black color. In the folder with templates, select our background and drag it here. Press Ctrl plus T. Hold Alt and stretch to fit the window size. Set opacity to 5%. Create a new layer. Transfer the robot image to the new layer. First, let's remove the letters from its body. Select the patch tool, J. Use this tool to hide unnecessary elements. Great! Now let's take the pen tool and cut out our object. Now it's going to be tedious work. Once we've connected the points, right click, make selection, OK. Create a mask for the robot. Press right mouse key, RMK, convert to small object and place our robot here. Create a new layer below the robot. Choose the brush tool, B, white color, and give it a glow. Blending mode, screen. Create a layer under the white color. Take the brush tool, green color, and add a green glow here. Blending mode, screen. Now let's go to the templates. Take this effect and place it behind the glow. Set the blending mode to screen. Create a mask. And with a soft black brush tool, remove the unnecessary part. Great. Create another layer. Take the white brush tool, B, and add some glow here. Now I'll group the glow and our background. I'll name it Background. A layer is created above the robot, and I'll fill it in with black. Blending mode, screen. Then I'll create another layer, hold Alt and attach it to the black layer. Go to Effects and click on Gradient Map. Choose white color. We should have black, white at the edges, and the color we need in the center, in this case green. Attach it to the bottom layer. Now select the bottom layer, take the brush tool, B, then select white color. Set opacity to 57. Start drawing highlights. Make a stroke, then take the smudge tool and stretch the light. Use the smudge tool to stretch the light, making it more natural. You can use different strength values. Choose what you like best. I'll go with 33. Create another layer. Use the brush tool to make a stroke here. Take the smudge tool and smudge the color around the perimeter. Now using the eraser tool, or E, remove the excess. Make it a bit softer. Again, take the brush tool, make a stroke here, and take the smudge tool and stretch the glow here. Create another layer. Take the brush and add this glare. Group the layers related to the robot, and call it Robot. In the same group, create another text layer. Write AI here. Hold Alt, enlarge the text, place it here, double click on the next layer, Go to the Color Overlay section, choose this green color, create a mask, set Blending Mode to Screen, use the Brush tool and darken the mask to create a highlight so that we get this glare. You can try adding a glow. Great! Now, create another text layer. Write AI and take the Berlin Sans font. Hold Alt and enlarge the text. Place it like this. Copy it. Hold Alt and drag the text down. Write Can Make You here. Press Ctrl plus T. Hold Alt and reduce the text and place it here. Copy Can Make You again and write Millionaire here. Press Ctrl plus T. Hold Alt and reduce it. Place it here. Move the letter A here. Create a new layer. Take the polygonal lasso tool and make a separate background for the text. Take the green color, use the brush tool to fill it, make it brighter here by adding white, and press Ctrl plus T. Great. Now add a little glow here. OK. Now let's work on the text AI. Go to AI, the Color Overlay section. Keep this same green color. In the Bevel and Emboss section, adjust it until you like it. Now in the Outer Glow section, add glow. OK. Now let's go to the templates. Take the image of $100. Group all text layers. 
Take the bill, copy it several times so that we have several copies, and fill our space with details. Add the bill here. We'll be throwing them into the background. Press Ctrl plus T. Warp. And get creative with the appearance of our bill to make it look more interesting. Let's leave it like this. Go here, select the curves, hold Alt and combine the curve with our bill. Lower the curve itself. Now on our layer with the curve, take the brush tool, black color, and click here a few times. This way we create the effect of falling light. Alright, let's take another bill. Press Ctrl plus T, hold Alt and reduce the image. Place it here, reduce the opacity a bit, make another bill smaller and press Ctrl plus T. Warp. Let's compress the bill like this. I want it to go through the letter. Let's rotate it a bit. Now create a mask. Take the brush tool, black color, rigid round, opacity 100, and remove the unnecessary parts here. Set the opacity of the bill to 100%. Now create a new layer above this bill. Attach the new layer to the bill with Alt. Take the brush tool B, soft, black color, and add some black here to create the shadow effect. Oh yeah, that looks much better. Take the next bill. Throw it to the background. Reduce it a little. Place it somewhere here, like this. Press Ctrl plus T. Warp. Play around with the appearance of the bill. Create curves. Attach it to our bill with Alt. Lower the curve again. Take our bill. Go to Filter. Blur. Gaussian Blur. And blur it. Make another copy of the bill. Make it smaller. Throw it in the background. Reduce it a bit more. Place it here. Press Ctrl plus T. Warp. And play around with the appearance of the bill again. Great. Now we'll create curves for this bill. Blend them. Lower the curve a bit. Take the brush tool. Soft. Black color. And add light here on the mask. We'll blur this bill. Filter. Blur. Motion blur. Make it dynamic. We'll copy this bill with Ctrl plus J and place it here. Copy it again, Ctrl plus J, and add it somewhere here. Just rotate it a bit. Aw oh, yeah, this looks great. Alright, we're on the home stretch. Now select the top layer. Select the top layer and press Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E. A new layer will be created and all the layers will be merged into one. Go to Filter. Camera Raw Filter. In the basic section, set exposure to plus 0.15 and contrast to plus 20. Now adjust the settings according to your preference. Increase the whites slightly and decrease the blacks a bit. Maximize texture and add some clarity. In the detail section, increase sharpening. You can adjust it to your liking. Add some grain with a value of plus 3. Our preview is ready. Congratulations, you've successfully completed the process of creating a cool thumbnail in Photoshop. If this video was helpful for you, please like it, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and also I recommend you watching this video here. Happy designing!